Hello, Cesar. Teacher. I don't know. Hello, teacher. How are you? Excellent. And you? Very well. Excellent, too. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's good. Today, easy day. Uh, not really, but I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> today, I'm happy. Okay. Why? Why are you happy today? Um, well, I, I was uh, doing thing that I, I really enjoy. Um, when, mm -hmm. when I, I, I program, programming, mm -hmm. yeah. When I programming, I enjoy that. <laughs> I don't know. A program in, in the computer, you make- a... Yeah, yeah, programming oh. in the computer. Um, I use Python for simulation or for graphics. Uh, uh, I don't know, display graphics with, with, that, with this language. So mm -hmm. it's very interesting for me. And, and I, get, I enjoy that. Okay. My career is not only about that, but is, uh, I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's the part of my science that I, I really enjoy the program. Okay. Well, that's the idea, right? That's why you chose the career. Yeah. That's the important part. All right. And all day programming, Cesar? No, not really. Uh, all day. Uh, uh, this day, yes. I was programming uh, from the 9 a.m. to 7 a.m. But uh, I take time for, for my breakfast and, and for my, my lunch. Uh, in my dinner too, <laughs> okay. okay. But uh, all day I was doing that. I, I was processing the the data of of the field, the, the field work. Yeah, that's the word. Field work in in the computer. Ah, uh, okay. Good, good. You remember the word. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, we I see we have Aldini and Jose. Aldini, Jose, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Jose, tell me a little bit about your day. Uh, well, my day starts at 6 a.m. Uh, I wake up uh, uh, at 6 a.m. <laughs> and I have my breakfast at 7 a.m. Then I go to the work and start to work at 8 a.m. Then, uh, well, I, I go out of my work uh, uh, about 6 p.m. and I arrive to my house uh, 7 p.m. It's very boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's the typical days, right? It's the life. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get started. In the chat, you see a link. The link is to help us begin having conversations with our partners. Take a look, we have a lot of questions. It's okay, you, you can open the link. Yeah, I got it. All right. So what are we gonna do with our partners? We're gonna use that link to talk and to get started to help us warm up, okay? One more time, there is the link. So let's go with our partners. Whoop, I think Karen maybe didn't see it either. All right, I'll put it in one more time. There we go. <laughs> All right, so with our partner, use the link, ask questions, and let's follow up. Ready? 
Yes. All right, let's go.
Okay, any questions, any words, or any vocabulary you're not sure? How do you say piñata, teacher? It's the same, it's a piñata. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. How do you say, teacher, como que te pongas mejor o que estés mejor? Like when, when I... When get you, well. Get well. Yes. Okay, get well. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Any other questions? Yes? Okay. If there are no other questions, good. Now we can go ahead and continue with our unit. And the important was for that to help us a little bit, to give us a topics, to use the past tense and describe. Right now we're going to look time phrases. Okay. So let's watch a small video about time phrases. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, People use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. Ready to work on... All right. So what are time phrases? Really, it's just about expressing, having an expression with a time uh, to talk about the past, the future, different times. Okay. Any questions about the time phrases? No, teacher. Okay. Do you remember why we use the word used to? What is the meaning used to? <coughs> Solía. 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 Correct. That's what it means. Good. Very good. Let's take a look here. All right. So, uh, Cesar, can you please read the objective? Yes. Uh, in this class, you will listen to an audio and make the exercise. As you listen, you will develop a skill in listening for main ideas. Okay. So right now, we are going to listen and we want to get the main idea, what does the woman, for example, here, each one talks about something. What does the woman talk about? What does the man talk about? And the other one, what else the woman, okay? So we're talking about changes in the neighborhood. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three, I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. 
It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. One more time. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Okay. What's number one? Environment. Okay. Number two? Transportation. Number three? Families. Families. Okay. Yes, everybody agrees? Yes. Yes? All right. Excellent. Those are the topics. Easy? Yes or yes? Yeah. So that's the idea. So we're going to take a moment and we're going to discuss the same ideas, right? How have your neighborhoods changed? It, your childhood, okay? How was the life before? It, imagine when you were young 10 years ago the difference between before and now for this one we're going to have several different questions and let me get you them in the chat there you go okay okay it's okay, the questions, look. Check, and see, if you, see if you understand. Take a look, if there are any words that you say, oh, this word is new, or I don't know this word. No, it's okay, the link? Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah, remember, it's not necessary go in order. So for example, Stephanie, how old were you when you learned to ride a bicycle? Could you repeat, please? Yes, how old were you when you learned to ride a bicycle? Mm. I don't understand your question. Uh, it's in the chat. It's it's in the link. It's in the link of the questions. Okay, a moment. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it's okay. Jose Isaias, how old were you when you learned to ride a bicycle? Well, um, let me see. Maybe 10 years old. Oh, okay. 
And do you remember the first day you learned to ride a bicycle? Yes, I I fall two times, I think. Good. Now, this is where we want to be careful. Now, Jose Isaiah has the correct idea, but not the correct grammar. Is not correct, I fall. And this is the job of the partner. The idea is not only listen to the idea. No, no, no. Listen for the correct verbs, the verbs in the past. It's okay, the, the activity? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. All right. Let's do it then. One moment. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, 
Don't forget to write your consequence worry, using the future will, may, or might. Okay, any questions? I have a question about the, the, the education in, in USA, mm -hmm. right? That the, uh, in USA have secondary and primary. Okay. It's, that that is the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. 
because, but the secondary in El Salvador is like high school in in USA, right? Yes. But in the USA, there are three. There is primary, secondary, and high school. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's yeah. like primary, middle school. Okay. And then it's high school. Those are the names. Oh, okay. Yeah. When I study in, in, in the adult, adult school. Yes, also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I started in 1984. 1984? Yes. Okay. For one year ago. Ah, okay. But I talked to my partner, but uh, I forgot the song word because in the Salvador, everybody speaks Spanish, you know? And I need to remember some word and some... Uh, uh -huh. Okay. No problem. All right. Any other questions? No. No. All right. Let's go ahead and continue. Today we're going to learn a little bit more so we can practice. Here we have conditionals. We're going to be learning about conditional sentences. Do you know this? Have you heard conditional sentences before? Mm, uh, I don't know, but I remember when you use if or, yeah, or, or another condition like that, whose sentences uh, are, I don't know, Add it, right? Yeah, that's the idea. It's like two sentences. And here we're going to learn a little bit about how to use them. Okay. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job, consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay. So let's take a look at that. The idea is if, if you do this, then this, the main clause is I will pass. Look, always we're going to use in first conditional, the verb with the future, I will, uh, and then the verb in base form, okay? So we can see here, subject, will, and the verb. That's the idea for the main ones. 
what happens if you save money? Uh, if, if I save money, I will buy a car. If I save money, I will go on a trip. If that's the idea of the conditionals. The conditionals are to express a cause and effect, something that is a possibility. It's okay. Okay. All right. Now, in English, we have many, many different possible, many conditionals, not only the first conditional, but today we are only going to practice the first conditional. Okay. In the chat, you can see many questions to help you ask in the first conditional. So as an example, if you don't go to work tomorrow, what will happen? Go ahead, guys. Tell me what will happen. I have to rain. So if you don't go to work, uh huh. Uh -huh. Your boss will uh, call you or ask uh, what happened. I don't know. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's one. If I don't go to work tomorrow, I will, I will not receive money. Tomorrow's the 15th. And you say, oh, this is the idea, the consequence. It's okay or, or so so? So so. So so. Okay. Let, give, let me give you a link. Okay. So in this case, we are going to start with the link. The link that is in the chat to help us. Remember, what are we going to do? We're going to use the word if, and then the next part will. So if I don't go to work tomorrow, I will, I will not, and then the action. Or if the activity, and then the consequence. Okay, do you have the chats? Do you, uh, sorry, do you have the link? Yes. Okay, let's look at question number one. What would you do if you miss your family and friends? Tell me your answer. What would you do if you miss your family and friends? What would you do if you miss your family and friends? Mm -hmm. If if I miss I. If I miss my family, I will call them. Excellent. That's the idea. I will call them. Monica, what about you? Okay, no, Monica. Claudia? Okay. Um, in my case, um, I calling. Uh, I am calling my family or visit. So so. All right. But remember, the conditional is you need the if. If I miss my family, if. I miss my friends, I will, I will visit them. I will call them. That is the correct structure. Okay. Try again, Claudia. What would you do if you miss your family and friends? Um, I will uh, visit my family. Also, not if I will, if, if, I miss I miss my friends my friends I will uh, I will okay okay try again Claudia don't worry we're gonna practice more that's the idea all right okay Karen what would you do if you miss your friends if um uh, if I sorry teacher let me see 
the question. Mm -hmm. In in the chat in the, in the chat, no. In, it's in, in the link. The, in the link. Mm -hmm. In the link. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. If I miss my friends, is it question? Correct. Okay. If I miss my friends, I I am boring. <laughs> I I. I I will boring. I will. Maybe? No. No, no, no. I will. You need the verb. You need the action. I will be bored. I will be boring. No, no in. I will be bored. I will be boring. No. <laughs> With ed, no in, no, no ing. It's an adjective. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. Okay. In this, in this moment, that's what we're going to do with your partner. You have many questions. The questions are in the link. And from the link, you ask and answer your partner. Use the correct structure. If I, I will. It's a long sentence. Okay. It's okay, any questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me it's okay. And the other people, it's okay? It's okay, teacher. It's okay, teacher. It's okay, teacher. All right, let's try it then. It's only about practice.
Teacher, I have a question. Yes. In, in the number nine, what? Um, what would nine? You, if you split up with your partner? Yes. How do you, um, how do you uh, pronounce is a lip tap? Uh, no, no, no. It's split. Split. The words is separate. Is separate. Okay. It's, it's separate. Yes, split. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good. Any other questions? I don't know, but but what is the another use for can stand? Can't stand is you don't like. I can't stand oh. reggaeton. I don't like reggaeton. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Because I I I I find the the, the, the translate in I guess the no soportar, but I I think that is another meaning, right? No, no, it's, it's, you don't like exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Any other questions? Teacher. Yes, Monica. Yes. Uh, um, I have a question. Uh, if you use the wheel, the answer always use uh, I will. In the first conditional, yes. Always is will or won't, positive or negative. Mm -hmm. So, okay. for example, eh, what would you do if you split up with your partner? If I split up with my partner, I won't go back to the house. I will move to another house. Is that okay, Monica? Mm -hmm. Yes. Monica? Yes, it is okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you. okay. You're welcome. Good. Anybody else? Yeah. Any other questions? No. All right. So. As we can see, we have lots of ideas for making our questions and conditionals. So let's see if we're okay. Um, let's take a few moments and look. And Stephanie, what would you do if you run out of money? Okay, no, Stephanie. All right. Claudia, what would you do if you run out of money? If <clears throat> if run, run out of money, um, I will I will run. I will go to bank. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will run in uh, the cash money. <laughs> Claudia, do you understand the question? So, so. Okay. So the expression run out means no money. Or mm -hmm. in case, if you say run out of money, it means that for you, you have no money. Okay. Okay. It means mm -hmm. no money. 
No money. Mm, uh -huh. Okay. So, Claudia, what will you do if you run out of money? If if run out of money? If, if I run out of if Rani, if I, if I, Rani of money, I will to bank. I will go. Remember, I will go to bank. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the idea. Okay. So today we we see the introduction. Tomorrow we practice more the first conditional. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you yes. so much for connecting. Tomorrow we practice yes. more. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Good Thank night. You Good, Good night. night. Good night. More for English Good class. night. Yes. How many? How many week? For... Next week. Only one week. Only one week. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Thank you for your time. Thank you, guys. One more week. All okay, right. Bye-bye.